When I was a little girl, I grew up in a world where nature was a beautiful tapestry. It was filled with color and beauty, all kinds of diversity in terms of wildflowers, birds, insects, animals. I don't want to see that tapestry turn into a, a moth-eaten old gray army blanket with nothing left for the future generation. In 1955, Bertrand Russell and Albert Einstein created this manifesto calling for scientists to gather together and discuss what we were going to do about eliminating nuclear weapons. My grandfather, Cyrus Eaton, offered Thinker's Lodge. And so in 1957, the very first anti-nuclear meeting was held right here. It's the 60th anniversary, and we are back with a group of thinkers trying to come up with climate change and global warming solutions that will work in Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada and indeed the whole world here at Thinker's Lodge. The climate change issue, what we're confronting it's impossible. It is beyond us. But then on the other hand, throughout history, the most interesting things have been in those moments in history when a people decided to do the impossible. And that's what we need to do now. And that's what we will do now. This meeting has the potential to be a model for the world a model that we can uh, bring to other uh, localities, other communities, to have this, these dialogues and engage local stakeholders from different sectors, from different pathways, you know, artists and, and, and scientists and, and government officials, policymakers, economists, and so on. I feel such optimism that something can actually happen here that is a demonstration of what is possible. Communities that are really well prepared for climate change are those that have the proper information. Because we're living within climate change right now. The impacts are here. They're undeniable. They're going to get worse. In understanding what those changes might be and how they prepare for them is really a community that's well ahead in uh, adapting to climate change. Project Drawdown, there's nothing quite like it in the world right now. The, the, it's a system of solutions that are applicable at all scales to all parts of the world on the most comprehensive plan to reverse global warming. But we need to start right now towards those trajectories. Um, but if we are ambitious, um, if we're aspirational, um, and we are united in a collaborative effort to make the kind of changes that we need that will actually benefit all segments of society, um, then I think we can actually be achieving this as soon as 2050. We can start to have that turning point. I think we will see a lot of positive change, particularly in our smaller rural communities. That's where I think I have the most confidence and faith in things moving ahead quickly.